For centuries, the image of Santa has delighted both children and adults alike. But now, some suggest Saint Nick is just too thick, that he's setting a poor, portly example for the children of the world. So this year, instead of his sleigh, Santa is being forced to hop on the treadmill, and he could very well be losing his cookies he loves so much. Our report begins where it matters most, the very children Santa's stoutness is supposedly influencing. Let's say I'm from another planet. What does Santa Claus look like? Fat. Fat. He fat. He's fat. Do you think Santa, as he exists today, sends the wrong nutritional message to children? Let me ask it another way. Does the image of Santa make you hungry for a double cheeseburger and fries? No. Carrots. Strong, strong vegetables. What if Santa dropped, say, a hundred pounds? How would that make you feel? Um, I don't know. How about 200? That would make me sad. Do you find that there's a correlation between jelly and jolly? I don't know. What do you think Santa would say to all of this? Santa would be sad. But surely children weren't the only ones who felt Santa's waistline was a plus. And by plus, I mean a positive. We found one group who felt enough was enough of this hefty dilemma. Uh, thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? Great. We're Matt. What is mass? Mothers Against Skinny Santa. <laughs> it's an acronym. That's right. And we're taking a stand against those wishing to use the image of Santa to further their cause. Right. Mm. See, we've heard that there's an organization of people who are trying to make Santa lose weight. It's and preposterous. It is. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to those who believe he sets a poor example for our children? Santa is not to blame for the world's weight problems. That starts at home, not the North Pole. That's right. I mean, after all, the North Pole is filled with just beautiful, wonderful things, really. That's right. <laughs> is it really worth the stir? You slim down Santa, what's next? Dying egg whites at Easter? Or rice cakes for Valentine's? Uh-uh. I mean, you just can't take away my chocolate, please. Of all the things you could put your efforts into, why this cause? Easy. I want my children to grow up with the same image of Santa that I grew up with. Besides, I really like making cookies. Finally, tonight, we go right to the clogged heart of the matter. Agreeing to speak under condition of anonymity is Christopher, an inside source familiar with the day-to-day -day operations here at the North Pole. So you claim to be close to Santa's operation. You could say that. Considering the weight of the issue, do you think Santa Claus sets a bad example for the children of the world? Actually, his cholesterol level is pretty good. Yes, but he's obviously out of shape. Out of shape? How does one haul gifts to four billion kids in one night and not be in shape? It's not the reindeer doing the heavy lifting, you know. Well, aren't they, though? <laughs> what? So, what does Mrs. Claus think about this whole thing? Well, to tell you the truth, she's been on him for centuries to shed a few. Always nagging. When are you going to get in shape, Santa? When are you ever going to use that bow flex, Santa? And now this. So, do you believe this could forever change the image of... Jolly old Saint Nick? Well, you tell me. Which would you rather have, a Santa that's plump and jolly or one that's skinny and grumpy? Yet, by medical standards, he is a large man. He's big boned. And do you even realize how many calories he burns in that one night? Along with how many cookies. Listen, John Michael, I know when you've been sleeping and I know when you're awake. Uh, thanks for coming in. Santa Claus, now thrust into a very large spotlight as his image prepares for a potential makeover. Is he overweight? Maybe. Is he underloved? No way. Reporting from the North Pole, I'm John Johnson. Good night. Are we done? Let's go get something to eat.